welcome to my channel you guys <clears throat> actually have a fan here but this fan is just fine for nothing that one is very noisy so that's why it's not on now this one is just fine for nothing it's basically just blowing i don't know so that's why i have this one here because whether it's kind of hot not that hot yeah but whether it's kind of hot so anyway guys in this video i am going to be coming clean about my addictions yes it is not clickbait this is reality this is my life i have chosen to talk about these things because i am sure other people out there can relate and hopefully this helps somebody even if it doesn't help anybody i just want to talk about it okay it's helping me by talking about it okay anyway so you guys i am inside my office this is a bed i brought inside here and yeah this is just all that's in my office and that's because i am further self-isolating i am further socially <laughs> distancing myself from my family okay and that's because i have been struggling a lot recently and it's something i've not really spoken about before anywhere i think i've spoken about it i don't know anyway it's something i've already spoken about before but i have been struggling and i'm going to tell you guys all about it in this video okay so you guys go and get your snacks ready get your cup of tea ready and yeah that's if you're interested or if you're not interested shall still watch okay help my ministry still watch basically my name is adeze and i have been addicted to my phone and to food okay yes it is real addiction i have been addicted to food and to my phone i've been addicted to food for the longest time since i can remember myself i've always been addicted to food i've always had this love hate relationship with food so it's either i'm starving or i'm binging like there's really no it's healthy portion control with me it's either i'm starving or i am binge eating like eating myself to stupor okay so i have battled with that for so long i have tried to lose weight for the longest time and each time i successfully lose weight i successfully add a lot more back okay i've tried different kind of diet i've tried different kind of you know weight loss methods i've tried exercising so much and yes it works in the short term so i lose the weight drastically you know i get fit and all that and then something just happens to me you know and then i i just fall back and i start misbehaving again i start binge eating again i stop exercising and then the cycle continues okay so most times when i'm in a good mood i always lose weight and i look healthy when i'm in a bad mood or when something stressful happens to me or when i become when anything triggers it you know i start gaining weight again i start looking unhealthy in fact when i was in secondary school and university you know how during exam period everybody loses weight and looks you know like they're suffering not me after each exam i come back from looking like i went for a vacation <laughs> and that's because that's because stressful situations make me eat so i use food to cope like when i'm reading i'm eating when i'm going to exam hall i'm eating after exam i'm rushing to go and eat like it's just what i used to cope okay so that one is aside now the other addiction is my phone addiction and to be honest for the longest time i was in denial about it i felt like i'm not really against my phone i just have to be on my phone because you know i'm in social media and i'm on social media right now and because of my youtube and because of my business i always had an excuse to always be with my phone I, you know is it i was doing one business that required me to be online answering customers or be online scouting for you know clients or you know prospects or when i started youtube oh i have to be online to update people to answer comments to you know Post on my instagram to keep my my audience entertained to this to that i always had an excuse to be with my phone 247 yes i wake up in the middle of the night by 2 a.m i go and pee i come back and checking my phone after a while i sleep off i wake up so i've not even slept well in a very 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 long time i think in a very long time actually since i got pregnant for my first child i have not slept up to five hours straight you know maybe i've done this once or twice but my everyday normal life is i sleep two hours wake up you know press phone for one hour or something sleep again one hour press phone like it's really has been really unhealthy for me and it has also triggered me to gain more weight so yeah i've struggled with this thing so much that yesterday i just couldn't take it anymore not yesterday two days ago i was thinking about my life and i was just like where am i headed you know thinking about everything that's been happening with this rural and um you know and basically the way the world is going right now i just have to ask myself 
Okay, now that everybody has been forced to stay at home, now that things are coming to a halt, now that it looks like, you know, the world is shutting down, what, what of, of what gain, as in, if the world ends right now, of what, what did I really gain? Okay, that's, that's just, if the world ends right now, what did I gain? <laughs> because, I know the funny thing, this addiction to phone affects me psychologically. I've denied it for, for so long, I've not, I, I've not really accepted it for so long. But this addiction to phone affects me psychologically okay because a lot of times when i open my phone and i'm scrolling through instagram or facebook i always see something to trigger me i always see something to stress my life i always see something to make me sad make me unhappy is it that i'm seeing about death or about children being molested or about you know white husband beating wife or wife killing husband or this or that like the world is just going crazy and even though my life is not that crazy i'm taking on the craziness of the world just by reading all those things okay so anyway i said all this to say i saw a video by uh kelechi anya shantel anya i saw a video by her where she stayed 24 hours without her phone and i've had that idea too for the longest time i've seen different youtubers do it and each time i watch their videos i'm like i'm doing it tomorrow when that tomorrow comes i'm like mm, do i really need to do it i'm not as addicted as they are my own not that bad so i don't need to do that 24 hours maybe i should just restrict my phone use to maybe three hours a day four hours a day bottom line is i never stay away my away from my phone even after i get gingered by those videos okay but yeah so all these things plus that Kelechi's video just made me say you know what i am going to stay away from my phone for three days yes so yesterday I switched off my phone and I threw it. <laughs> I threw my phone somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how this place looks, but yeah. Can you guys see my phone? Can you see my phone? Can I... <laughs> anyway, I just switched off my phone and threw it there. And I just told myself, you know what? Come rain, come shine. I am not bringing down that phone until the three days has passed. So I wanted to film the whole experience of me not being with my phone yesterday. But then I thought about it. I've dropped my phone, but I'm still carrying camera. I'm still trying to. I'm trying to make a video. I'm still like I'm still doing too much. Okay, I'm still doing too much. So that was why I decided not to even film anything yesterday. And then for the first time in a very long time, me and my husband actually gisted for like the whole day, like pretty much the whole day yesterday. We were just gisting, gisting. We we'll gist, we we'll sleep off, we we'll wake up again, continue to gist. Then at some point, my children were getting very noisy. So he carried them away to make them sleep so that I could sleep some more. Let's say I slept like 13 to 14 hours yesterday out of 24 hours. The rest, I spent it on just gisting with my husband. Um, I didn't even eat until evening. That's because I didn't really even feel the urge to eat. I still slept last night till 9 a.m. this morning. Like, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> You know, so yeah, I just like to just you guys this thing because I'm so surprised that I have been causing myself so much harm by myself. Like I just carry myself, I just carry my hand and go and buy trouble for myself. You know, I'm even looking at my skin today. My skin doesn't look. I mean, it's not. It's not perfect though. I won't have this very big pimple here. This one has been here for like four days, but I don't have any foundation or makeup on my skin. And for me, my skin looks. A lot better than it looks it used to look okay i still have this hyperpigmentation here that one is is not going to go overnight but i don't know if you guys are seeing what i am seeing but all i know is that i am seeing that my skin is looking a hundred times better than it was looking you know three days ago simply by just sleeping and drinking water more than i used to okay so yeah that's been my life since um two days ago i have just been taking out time to rest that's why i have this mattress here so i can just lie down and rest um, I've also been reading my Bible. I've been reading the book of Daniel. Yes, I've read the book of Daniel and I chose the book of Daniel because I wanted to do the Daniel fast. Just eat fruits and, you know, vegetables and water. So I wanted to do the Daniel fast, but I also like the story of Daniel, especially as, as it concerns the spirit of excellence, okay? I am not going to go back to that life of having my phone 247 it doesn't even make sense so about the food addition i told you guys to be honest like i don't really know a solution to it right now but all i know is that since stress is something that triggers me i'm going to try and reduce stress in my life okay i'm not going to reduce 
posting on YouTube because YouTube is my happy space. So I'm not going to stop it because I'm trying to reduce stress. Because to be honest, it's not that stressful for me. It is when I do YouTube and combine with so many other things that it really gets stressful for me. But ordinarily, it's not that stressful for me because I'm not going out of my way to film anything or to do anything that I wouldn't normally do on a normal day. Okay. So YouTube, well, it's stressful. Shall let me know like the editing part. <laughs> yeah, I spend hours editing. You know, so it's it's to that in that aspect it's stressful. But it's something I love to do. So it's it's, a, it's not a, it's not really a mental stress for me. It might be physically challenging. But it's not a mental stress for me, it's something I really love to do. So I'm not going to stop uploading on YouTube, but I am going to simplify my life in so many other ways. Okay, I'm going to really, really drastically simplify my life. Initially, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to start a weight loss channel. In fact, the day Nello KK started her with her cook with Nello was the same day I started my weight loss channel. Yes, and this is journey. You guys can search for it. I started my I started my YouTube I started my second channel the same day she has her second channel. And you know we, we were just gingering each other yes we're going to post we're going to do this but to be honest after she posted I just told myself you know what you need to calm down you need to calm down you are complaining that your life is too complicated and you are doing too much and then you want to add extra the plan was I'll try and lose weight and then I'll show you guys everything everything I do to lose the weight on my second channel but it is still creating content okay it's still creating content even though I like it it, it can get it, it can get too much okay so that was why I had to slow down on that one that's why I didn't announce that channel at all so I'm not abandoning the channel but for now for right now I think I am just going to slow down with everything that I'm doing I also thought about having a farm. Mm, yes, I wanted to become a farmer because at the back of my house, I have some land there. So I was telling myself that ah, I'm going to become a farmer. I'm following two people on Instagram that uh, you know have their own gardens in their house and they farm a lot. So the one is my plant life. She's actually very good, and the se second one is simply Lily Style Speak or Speak Style or Lily Speak Style. Or simply Lily. Anyway, from her name, I should have known that she's, she's a team too much person. I shouldn't be following her in the first place because she does other stuff and she still farms. So she knows she she makes smoothies, she makes you know fresh salad from her farm, from her farm produce and stuff like that. So in time I follow her, like I like that life. It, it looks very you know interesting to me. So I was like, hmm, I need to start my own farm. In fact, I even went as far as calling my plant life. I reached out to her to help me to set up my farm so I can start farming. Then I now have to tell myself, wait, hold up, hold up, girl, hold up. How many hobbies do you want to have? Like, how many hobbies? Like, I have a whole lot of hobbies that I have to just tell myself. Not all hobbies must be acted upon, okay? <laughs> At least not at this time. So, if you like to farm, you can farm. You like this one, you can do Let them wait. No, 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 no. Not all hobbies must be acted upon at this time, at this time, okay? I need to streamline my life. So that was why I just put a hold on that farming thing. Like, is it that I don't have money to go and buy the vegetables from the market? Or is it that I don't have a market close to me that sells fresh vegetables? Why do I need to add that much stress again to my life? So anyway, some of these things look sweet and easy when you see other people doing it and posting about it. Go and start it now. That's when your eye will not clear. <laughs> yeah, so basically i've thought enough but basically that is just my life update those are the things i have been struggling with for the longest time about my weight loss i'm going to make a dedicated video to talk about you know my struggles with losing weight with you know and um, body positivity and stuff like that i bet this fly inside or outside my house it's not even a fly it's a bee so yeah um i'm going to make a super video and talk about it i'm sure so many people can relate with my you know weight loss struggles or my healthy weight or weight struggles or you know body image struggles i'm going to make a separate video about it but for this video i'm just telling you guys how i have stayed 24 hours without pressing my phone and i don't miss it i do not miss it like in fact the thought of going back to all my phone is just like oh my god i don't need i don't need my phone i really don't need it i don't miss it but i have a video i have to post on friday i have a collab with um nj banter with nj you guys can check her out i have a collab with her that i'm going to post on friday tomorrow so by tomorrow i have to put on my phone to be sure that you know she's ready to post and all that yeah so anyway I i'm just like this because i want to go out my children's school they said that cora's exam is going to still hold so she needs to i need to go and get her 
her study materials and then they're going to send us a link or something for her to do her exams from home which is not bad actually i actually like it and then for eva i don't know if eva has to do exam now we manufacture an exam for eva because that child is becoming very stubborn <laughs> she's not stubborn in jesus name but she's giving us a lot of stress this day so in fact she's not giving us stress in jesus name anyway she's not a stressful child but anyway she needs to be busy so i'm going to manufacture an exam for for eva to do work all right doing her own exam so yeah i'm going to their school now to go and pick those stuff up then i'm also going to market i need to cook anyway so you guys tell me so far if you're enjoying this video if you're not enjoying it ah i'm sorry but just just you know bear with me but um let me just go and know what my kids are up to and then i'll go to cora's school this flower, well, flower is now blooming plenty. Oh. Before she had plucked everything on top of it. Where? She had plucked all the flowers before. I want two flowers. Generally, all the flowers are blooming. Generally, uh, although I don't like that. This this place needs to be. I don't know. I don't know what that man came to do here. It doesn't look well at all. But this place looks good. This is beautiful like i love these flowers they're really doing well so this is where the children play with sand and i wanted to just do a little farmer along this side like this is bitter leaf so i wanted to just plant some other things here but still leave space for them to play with sand then i wanted to convert this whole place into a farm <laughs> Come on, open to a farm, but uh, your girl has changed her mind. Hmm? That's the only thing I'm growing for now, and it's still doing very well. So let me just keep the aloe vera alive and just take that one as my hobby. All right, let's go. Yay! Yay! This is good. I hope I have this enough is, cash in my purse. Mommy, look at. I said I hope I have, have enough cash in my purse. Mommy, look at. Look at that ear Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. 2,000 for 350. It's rich for their soup now. Yeah. Their soup, yes. Mm. Jesus. Oh, but I need to buy fruit too. Desha! Can you want to go and collect money from their father? Desha! Ron, just tell him that I should give you like two or three things. Desha! Everybody say hi to the vlog. Hi. This kid's not coming out. Let me bring it down. So how are you guys enjoying your stay at home? Fine. Do you know why you're <laughs> Do you know why you're staying at home? Yes. Why are you staying at home? B Because we didn't go to school. Yeah, why are you not going to school? B. Because the school is so very music is going out. Uh -huh. Kaito. We're not going to see Kaito. No, we are no, doing no. social distancing. Did you I, hear that? I didn't say I'm that. Not getting it. Uh, I did that in the present. The pre so we're not going to see your friends because we are doing social distancing. Do you know what social distancing is? No, I know. You don't know. Okay, social distancing is when we don't want to spread germs to anybody, so we we'll stay at home. So that you don't spread germs to anybody yeah, and you don't collect gems from do anybody. Do Eva. Maybe collect Eva. Gems what we do next by that woman? Go to the back. Cora. Yes. That's why we have to keep washing our hands. Washing our hands is not good. Not good to eat and just forget to wash your hands. Yes. You're supposed to wash your hands all the time. And yeah. that's why we've slow taped I be plastered your hands so that you stop sucking. <laughs> yeah, because when you suck, it puts gems in your rice. body, and it what? makes your tummy rice. to be to be pain in I you. Hate rice. Hey, 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 wait, because because something it to make your tummy pain in you with ice cream and cake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ice cream and cake also makes your tummy to pain you I because it's rice. junk food. Yes. Yes, but gems too also make your tummy to pain you. B. Because you have to eat healthy food. Okay, yes. Right. And clean food too. Where do all these wipes come from now? Who packed all those things there? Yuck. Yuck is ghost. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So we're going to your school now. Mommy, take mommy. Going to uh, our school. 
Yes, we are the cast itself. Okay. Alright, everybody sit down and put your seat belts before we go. Okay, it's time to put our seat belts. Yeah. Yeah. That fish, how much is it? Which one? That round round one. Ask her how much. No, no, no. Don't go close, we'll just stand here and ask. No, no. No, look at the size that is there. Why is this woman not around now? Enter, enter. Again, oh, it's just not to mm -hmm. again. Let's cook something else. Oh yeah, give a man to hand sanitizer. Give a man to hand sanitizer. I... Start, start with sanitizer. Did you laugh? Well done. Nah, no, I, I don't know. Hand give a plenty. sanitizer in my hand. Please. Put for yourself now. Why you give me two? Why you put C? Why you want to sanitize your hand? Let me show you. Give me. Alright, it's not cream. No. When you put on your hands, you do your fingers like this first. Do your fingers like this to enter inside your finger, then you now rub it around your hands. Because under your nails, you might have. Hey, but it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're laughing. When we quarantine you in that house, I, 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 I do it. I do it. you at the backyard, at the <laughs> bus quarter. Only you stay there. Are you guys hungry? Yes! Eva, are you hungry? No, 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 no. No. Please, where? Where are you going to? Please, please, I want to buy some chica taco. Hmm? Chica taco. <laughs> oh, my earrings. Thank chica, you, baby. Chica taco are great to buy. <laughs> so, this is where I keep my bigger earrings, my hoops, and earrings that, you know, are quite big. This is where I put my sunglasses, one is actually missing from here. And then this is my drawer. Yeah, so I'm supposed to have three of these. This thing is actually for cutlery. Yeah, it's made for cutlery. So I just bought it to use and organize my table. I'm supposed to have three of these, but some things here cannot enter this small, small slots. That was why I just left here, but so I can put bigger stuff like this, like my hand fan and stuff other stuff like this ones these are my smaller earrings so i organize them here smaller earrings and then pendants and stuff like that and yeah this one is for my these are my pens so i have my pens here extra pens actually because i still have some pens there so extra pens and here this is my lip balm these are stuff for my camera these are my batteries this remote is not supposed to be here i just kept it here this piece is actually where i put my camera and my tripod so i put them here they actually enter um this is my camera cord this one are my charging cords these are glue sticks i don't know why i have four glue sticks but yeah these are glue sticks this is um washi tapes these are washi tapes decorative tapes so i use this washi tape i think this particular one or oh, which one did i use i think i use the chevron design the gold where's that gold chevron design now Focus now. Mm -hmm. So I use this gold one to cover this place. That's what I use the tape for, just to cover there. So it's just decorative tape. I don't even know why I have all these designs and colors, but yeah. Then this one, I bought this thing for. This actually a face supposed to be face paint or face crayon or whatever, but it doesn't show up on my children's skin. I think it's for good people. It doesn't show up on my children's skin. This one is um pen glue. What do you call it? Glitter pen. Yeah, so it's glitter pen. I have it different colors. You just use the glitter pen. You remove this one and put this. These are the inks for glitter pen, basically. So I don't even know what my main glitter pen is, but yeah. Then here I have clips. I don't know why I have all these. More clips and then um, thumb thumb tacks. Thumb tack, they call it thumb tacks. Yeah. So I have my stapler here. This is actually a very fancy stapler. I got this from Miniso. And um, here I have some of the sharp or dangerous objects, uh, nail cutter, pins, uh, matches, I don't know what matches is here, razor blade, screwdriver and stuff like that. I have it here because when my children come here, their hand hardly goes here. So that's why I have those things there. Uh, this one is just uh, sticky notes. They have different colors and short sizes of sticky notes. This is just card game. Let me bring that. Let me have to play this game this night. So, then I have gum, I have wipes, and I have hand cream. My sanitizer is usually here, but it's not here right now because it's downstairs. What is this? It's 
since it's in broke off from here. So yeah, that's my drawer. So yeah, that's enough social interaction for today. I've chased my children away. They should go and sort themselves out. I really don't care. So I'm just going to lock my door, put on my fan, lie down, and sleep. Okay, I need to continue reading my Bible. Though. I need to continue reading my Bible, but yeah, I basically read my Bible and sleep off from there. So I'll see you guys when I wake up. Who is that? Donna. What do you want? Sleep. Eh? Sleep. You want sleep? Yes, can I help you? Can you sleep on, on your office, please? You want to sleep in my office? Eva, what did you say? It's Eva. Eh? Eva. No, no, no. Please. Mommy wants to spend time alone. Will you, will you, will you just be quiet? You're sure you'll be quiet? Yes. Eva. Okay. My pillow. <laughs> I think you passing. No. It's because your father is busy. If not, he would have taken them. He's busy. I put it on the oh yeah, come and stay. Everybody, come and stay. Come and tell us your story. Sorry. Yes. 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 No. 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 Eva, I said, Aya. Eva, okay. come and sit. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Yeah. Okay. okay. Eva, tell us your story. Sit down, sit down, <coughs> sit down. Else, no story. Hey. Oh my God! Hey. Hey. If I chase this children away really? now, to be like Pass. this woman is being selfish. I want to buy buy a book. Buy a book. book. Mm -hmm. This dog. This dog very lucky. Did I lock the door? I didn't lock it now. I didn't lock it. Okay. I open it. Hi, Eva. Why are you so happy? Why are you happy? <laughs> Aya, say hello guys. Say hello guys. As in, I was thinking she would turn. Oh, so you have to come down and turn. Hello guys. So, what kind of serious rain wants to fall? Is it we'll see? What kind of serious rain wants to fall? So, let me just come and prepare dinner. I wanted to prepare dinner later on, but let me just come and prepare dinner now so that after we finish eating, I'll go and have my bath and then go and enjoy this. Because <laughs> we're having a movie night. Me and my husband, only me and my husband, we're having movie night this night. 
so this kind of weather is gonna be very very nice so let me quickly prepare dinner so we can all eat and then have our bath and then get ready for movie night yeah 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 so anyway that's the kitchen um i might have already prepared stuff and she's already boiling potatoes so we're eating potatoes and um vegetable sauce all right guys food is ready this is hobby's food and this is my food yeah and let me know in the comment section am i the only married woman who uses special plates and cup for her husband while they use nonsense i can eat anything to eat i can even eat from the pot so if it's not that serious but for my husband's food it has to be in a special plate and special cup yeah so this cup i bought it for him especially for him not even visitors can use it so i've had my bath now i've sent my kids to bed and we're ready to do our movie night yay <laughs> we're going to be watching um avengers endgame i've watched it before but i want to watch it again you know i just like the movie so no i really like it actually but i just want to watch something that i've watched before so that i don't have to concentrate on the movie if you know what i mean if you know what i mean <laughs> If you don't know what I mean, you better go to bed. This channel is not made for kids, please. Hey, if you don't understand what I mean, then you better go to bed. It's not made for kids. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I just want to make um, just smoothie for us to drink. And then I think we have snacks. We have fruits and snacks, whatever. So guys, this is what we're going to be having for our movie night. Those are apples, garden eggs, um, peanut butter, osoji, not peanut butter. This one is osoji, the one that has um spices in it and then my delicious zobo smoothie okay that brings me to the end of day two without my phone i haven't even checked the phone like i, I can't believe myself <laughs> i can't believe myself anyway so yeah i've come out to you guys i've told you guys my struggles who can relate if you cannot relate okay whatever but if you can relate comment down in the comment section and just tell me what is that thing that you're really struggling with mine i've told you my own my own is just basically food and phone so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like this video you know what to do you know what to do please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post a new video yeah and yeah so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.